Hey guys, welcome to Applied Math. I'm going to give you some instruction on how to use three, four, five triangles okay, to tell if a wall is square. All right. So first off, what a three, four, five triangle, what three, four, five means is it's describing the lengths of the sides of a triangle. And in this case, a right triangle. And a right triangle, if you recall, means that it has a 90 degree angle in it. Okay. So if I were to draw a triangle here, like the following, right? and this particular area right here was a 90 degree angle, that would be um, considered a right triangle. All right, what I'm saying is if we have a triangle like this where the sides are 3, 4, and 5, okay, we have to have a right triangle. Now, why that's important in construction is because we in our culture typically build boxes. Really we just build boxes and stack boxes on top of each other. Sometimes we have um, triangular prisms or you know solid triangles that we stick on top of the boxes but we're still having a lot of 90 degree angles. And so it's important for us to know or to have tools or techniques to tell whether something that we've built or our building is square or has 90 degree angles. Okay? Um, and triangles such as a 3-4-5 triangle help us with that. All right. Now in the case of this 3-4-5 triangle, um, there's a neat principle in mathematics that says that if we scale or make bigger or smaller um, one side of this triangle and we do the same factor, we scale it by the same multiplier on all of the sides of the triangle, okay, we still preserve or have the same angles. So in other words, if I were to create another triangle here, and these are not to scale, so do not expect them to be to scale. If I were to make each side of my 3, 4, 5 triangle twice as long, as you see here, this is 6, twice as big as 3, or 8, twice as big as 4, and likewise, okay. If I were to make it twice as big, I scaled it up by a factor of 2. Okay. If I do that, the cool thing is, the angles are still the same. Okay, we call these similar triangles, and it means their angles are still the same. So I still have a 90 degree angle here. Okay. All right, so these, both of these triangles can be used to test if something is square. Now imagine this was a wall. Okay, if we're looking down, um, well, you could really do it either way, but if you're looking from the top down on a, in a, on a room, Okay, and you had a wall here and a wall here. Okay, if I were to measure with my tape measure from the corner out, make a mark at three feet, and from the corner marking measuring the other way, mark at four feet, in order to measure the distance between these two, if it was five, I'd be pretty confident that I built my wall square. That this corner here has a ninety degree. Okay, and you could also imagine this was the height of the wall and this was a floor, and then you could check to see if your floor was perpendicular or square with your wall. Same kind of thing, okay? Now the cool thing is, the angles didn't change here. This is still a 90 degree. I can use bigger numbers. I can use 6, 8, 10 to also, because sometimes 3 feet, 4 feet, and 5 feet is just not going to cut it, right? We're going to have walls that are longer than that. All right, so we could use 6, 8, 10. And in fact, we could even go further. As long as we multiply the sides by a consistent number, we can have an infinite amount of special triangles we call these pythagorean triples we can have a, a special number of these three four five triangles to help us really measure any distance to check to see if things are square all right so for instance we might have three four five we might have six eight ten okay. my handwriting is not the best here three four five six eight ten or if we multiplied this by a factor of three we'd have nine twelve fifteen 9, 12, 15. And guess what? We could even have a larger one multiply this by 4. 12, 4 times 4, 16. 5 times 4, 20. So 12, 16, and 20. And really probably go one more. 3 times 5, 4 times 5, 5 times 5. And we get 15, 20, 25. Right. These are probably going to be the most you use in the construction world. Okay unless you're, you know, really laying out something super big, all right? Um, and it really doesn't matter the unit, too. Like, if you wanted to measure in inches, you could do it feet, you could do it meters, you could do it yards, you could do it, okay? As long as these are all the same unit, 
it forces the first two, okay, if you measure these out, it's a triangle, this with these measurements, it forces there to be a right angle or 90 degrees between the first two sides, okay, which is what we like to build with. We like to build with 90 degree angles. Um, there's one other one I want to mention that's a Pythagorean triple, but it's not this pattern of Pythagorean triples, okay? And it's um, 5, 12, 13. Now, why might that one be useful? Well, what happens if you have to lay out a hallway, okay? A long, skinny hallway, all right? This might be a little better way to measure that, all right? Because we got one skinny part and then a long side here. So the triangle would be like, now skinny here and extra long there. But it still shows a 90 degree angle between 5 and 12. All right, now how did I just come up, come up with these special things? Okay, well, I didn't. All right, they've already been found for me. And they're, they're, we can prove that there's a 90 degree angle between the two sides here using the Pythagorean theorem. Oh, no, the Pythagorean theorem. Yes, the Pythagorean theorem is super helpful. Okay, um, so just know that these didn't come out of nowhere. All right. Um, if I use Pythagorean's theorem, which is what you recall, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and it's true for all right triangles, okay, um, which means there's a 90 degree angle, right? If I plug this in any one of these sides into that Pythagorean's theorem, a squared plus b squared has to equal c squared, they, it'll, it'll be true for all of them, okay? So if I do 3, four, three squared plus 4 squared, it ha it'll equal 5 squared. If I do 6 squared plus 8 squared, equal, it'll equal 10 squared, and so on. So that's how I know that these will give me a square wall or a 90 degree angle, okay, is using that Pythagorean thing. All right, and that concludes the lesson for um, today.